Wakaliaville Municipal Schools is reversing course. The district now says it will enforce a mask mandate issued by the Shelby County Health Department. Well, the school district originally said it would require masks but wouldn't enforce it and instead report those who didn't comply to the health department. Well, now the district says any Collierville student who refuses to wear a mask will be sent home. Reporter Jenny DePrizio was there today when mask mandate opponents went to Collierville schools administration offices demanding to talk with the school superintendent. The protesters began singing and praying before chanting the superintendent's name. Get us Lily! Get us Lily! The people here wanted to hear from the superintendent why the district is following the Shelby County Health Department's directive for universal masking. They want masking to be voluntary. I'm not against the mask. I just don't feel like I should be forced to mask my child while they sit in a desk all day. I believe in freedom. I believe that we have the right to choose. A Collierville school spokesperson says these protesters are the minority, reporting that almost all elementary and middle school students wore masks in class today. We're told the high schoolers were less compliant. Most parents we talked to today supported the mask mandate. I want my kid to be safe, so I think everybody should wear a mask. I'm all for it. I am. I wasn't at first, but I'm all, all for it, for the safety of him. He's not quite old enough to get the vaccine right now. He's only 11. My opinion is just wear the mask. In a statement, Collierville School says earlier today it met with Shelby County Health Department leaders and the county attorney. During the meeting, it was made clear that the district is obligated and required to enforce indoor masking. It was also confirmed that the Shelby County Health Department has the authority to close any school determined to be a danger to public health due to the presence of unmasked individuals. As for the protesters, the superintendent never came out to talk to them. Instead, the police were called and the chief came out to deliver this message. If you, if you all wanted to um, meet with the superintendent or the leadership team, do it individually. The protesters say they'll be back Tuesday and every day until they get to talk to the superintendent. In Collierville, I'm Jenny DePrizio.